Hello, and welcome to the show. We are back with another stupid crit on GTA 5. Yes, the plan this time is to block me in. Brilliant. Well, no, no, Ninetales is going to make sure Liam can't get any sneaky advantage. So, I'm not sure this grit is going to work, particularly with racing, again. Um, not with any particular new cars this time around, um, but we've got the Sprunk Buffalo. We're going to go for a race around a track that I pwn. This is a concrete canyon. It's actually a really interesting track. Uh, I, I like the circuit. It's entirely walled in. There is no curbs. Uh, there is just a concrete wall around the outside of the track. Um, the <laughs> well, we're supposed to be going. We, we are supposed to be going. It's the one minute mark. Everyone forgot about the time. Well, it's officially the dumbest start we've ever... Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Uh, <laughs> it's officially the dumbest of starts. But here we go. It's also a night race because I goofed with the time of day settings. So there is that. Oh, I pinged off a wall. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not gone well. It's safe to say things have not gone particularly to plan. Now, there is a chance, of course. This is a six-lap race. There is opportunities to catch back up to the field and potentially overtake around. Um, this is an, it's an interesting circuit to drive. It's fast, this. There is some overtaking spots, but they are not the most straightforward of positions. There's a few, quite a few blind corners. If something goes wrong around a turn, it is difficult to uh, be able to see. And the straights aren't really long enough for just a pure slipstream pass. They can be a little bit, but uh, yeah, you're going to have to bide your time. This is a big cluster of cards. Actually, I have to say, of all the races to have accidentally goofed and set it to night time, I'm kind of okay with it being this one. You kind of get some quite cool lighting because it's a proper, like, in the middle of the city street circuit. So, that's... I'm, I'm okay with that. We're, we're okay with that one. Uh, next time, the next one will be a day race. It's just easier to see what's going on, but, uh, uh-oh, don't end up in those cars uh, without visiting the wall. Uh, the, the concrete walls aren't too bad. They can get a little bit sticky at times, kind of grab cars and, and spin you. We're just stuck in this... It's just traffic. We're just constantly side by side with other vehicles. Oh, make that one stick on the outside. There we go. That's a nice run. That's a nice run. We're in the slipstream from the purple car. In fact, this slipstream's kind of buggered off ever so slightly. Uh, we just see all of the brake lights go on through turn one. No one's quite sure how brave to be. Uh, partly because you don't know what's going to be around the corner. Partly because we're not quite quite 100% confident with what the, what the speed and what the grip levels are going to be like at uh, some of these places. What you can and can't get away with a car, basically. Uh, not going to be not going to be flat through there, but again, it's another little tap on the brake. There's a couple of cars ping off towards the wall through there. I want to get up the inside. This is a golden opportunity to make up about three places in one corner. This is the only one to get a good run. But I've got to be careful through this next turn. You don't want to really be on the outside. The wall is a little nasty there. It just kind of narrows up slightly. And, uh, yeah, easy to get stuck if you are out wide. Nine Tails, funnily enough, is leading the race. We're almost three wide into these corners. That is not a place you want to be three wide. Liam makes the most of the opportunity there to sneak past. Don't slide too much. Oh, that car was almost in a lot of trouble on the outside there. Uh, oh, I need to go into the back of whoever it is ahead. Don't know. Nameplates have given up showing. I'm on the outside for the final turn, or penultimate turn actually, I lied, sorry, this is the final turn coming up here, we're still on the outside. Can I duck underneath that car? It's not enough. Uh, bumpy this up ahead of us, it's not going to be enough, and I haven't really got any slipstream of anybody either. Uh, so that's a little bit of a problem. Oh, we had a big bump draft from behind. I say a big bump draft, no, no it's just a big shunt from behind. Uh, these cars do steer quite a lot when hit from the back. Oh, <laughs> oh Bumpy gave us space. Thank you for that, I'm hoping we can get some slipstream and finally slingshot our way, fling our way towards the lead trio which we do a little bit. I want a very tight line through there. Oh, it's just a scrape. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful you don't uh, ding up the car too much. It is possible. Some vehicles are much worse than others. The Infernus is one in particular that's bad uh, for taking damage in these races and actually get the car really really undrivable. Uh, this, the Sprunk Buffalo should be okay unless you take some really big hits and start bending wheels up and the like. Uh, Nine Tails, oh, trying to fend off. Liam has ended up slightly wide of the wall. This is going to take that opportunity to get back past. I'm now in the draft. That's what we needed. We needed to get into the slipstream trails of these cars if we wanted to fight at the front. And we've got a little bit of a gap back to the vehicles behind. A decent sized gap back to the vehicles behind. We're almost three wide into the penultimate turn. That's not going to work. Uh, I'm trying to set myself up in a position where, in a big slipstream fight to the line, I can be in a good place. Is it here? Might not be. No, it wouldn't be enough. Oh, it'd be so close if that was a battle to the finish line. There's a good run down there if you can get it right. There's a way to make that work as we go side by side. It's two by two in turn one. This gets unlucky, gets tangled on the back of Liam's car. I've got nowhere to really go at the moment. It's too narrow to do much 
through there. Is Scotty going to catch us before the end of the race? Possibly. Make it a five-car battle for the lead. It's four wide. Me and Gliska sweep around either way, but we've got to be careful through the next corner. And this is what ends up slowing you down. You know, we both take funky lines. We were both slow through there. Liam and Ninetales had to slow down because, well, there was nowhere to go because there were cars ahead. And Scotty's got clean air and will be running much, much faster lap times. If there's only one car that catches and joins us, that's not too bad. If it's three or four cars, in fact, Scotty may have had a crash on their own. Uh, if yeah, it's three or four cars, there may be trouble. I do not want to make it three wide down here. It's barely wide enough for two wide at the best of times. Three is not... You're asking for trouble. Final lap, I'd do it. Lap four out of six? Mm, probably not. And even then, final lap, I'd only do it if it looked like it was actually a sensible uh, manoeuvre that had a chance of working. There is always a time where, uh, yeah, it's not necessarily going to be the right the right option. Look at the inside of Liam. They're trying to understeer our way to the side of the black machine. Uh, it's a good drive off of the final corner, but I'm out of the slipstream, so we wouldn't win the battle to the line. Gliska would win. In fact, our positions would have stayed exactly the same there. Nine tails with a big run to the inside. Oh, we'll get up to second. Uh, Blakey has come to join us. Team Orange is here. Oh, <laughs> we are we are going side by side a lot, and there is not much room. This is what I love about this track. It does promote an awful lot of side by side racing. Oh, didn't actually quite mean to crowd Gleska in the way that we did, but everything is fine. Everything is okay. There was a little last minute getting through on that, but we're all just giving each other enough space. We just we're like we realise two wide is good, three wide is stupid. And as long as we realise that, it'll be the final lap where we get brave. It'll be the final lap where we go, right, we've got to try and make something happen. And that's when someone's going to try a three wide and that's when the track's going to get blocked. Uh, we're going to have a team orange. I think we're going to have a Blakey up the inside. Might have, might have given up on that pass. Can I get a good run on the exit? No oversteer from me will cost me a chance at the position at that particular moment. There's still plenty of corners to go here. Uh, I'm on a tight line through here, which has a little little bit of a lift. Focus on getting the slipstream. Blakey has very much joined us now. It's a five-car battle for the lead. Gliska brushed the wall on the inside and lost a heap of momentum. Uh, we get a good run, but got nowhere to go with it. Nine-tails actually a bit slow mid-corner. Stacked us all up. There goes Liam with the run to the start-finish line. This is it. This is the final lap. There will be no yielding now, especially not in those final corners. Liam drives in very deep into turn one, brushes the wall. Gliska's going to come out of the way with the lead. I will take second away. There's another car coming to join us to make it more vehicles. Gliska pinged the wall, the inside wall. It's all gone wrong on the final lap. Oh, the littlest of errors. The smallest of errors, but that ping on the wall has uh, scuppered a bunch of cars race. Now, me, Liam, Ninetales are still there. Brazen has come from nowhere to join in this group. I think Blakey sadly got pinged in that shunt as well. So that's certainly them two uh, done for. We're on the outside of Ninetales. Ninetales is not giving up, but then neither will I around here. And you don't want to be on the outside towards that wall. We end up sliding in front of Ninetales' car and no one has any room to get a run there. Liam's moving around trying to stop any slipstream being given it won't be enough but are we too far back has Liam got a big enough lead or are we the perfect distance back to get a good slingshot towards those final corners I don't know yet it's gonna be a mad run to the finish line I suspect if anything it looks like it might be between me and Liam Ninetales has fallen a little too far back or is gonna be in the perfect place for a very very big slipstream run Liam slots through the penultimate corner Ninetales has got the mega run up the inside here we go who's gonna be able to do it it's gonna be Liam is going to take it. No one got any drive out of that final. I'm amazed. Just no one got any. No one had any go. No, no one. No one could go anywhere. I thought me and Ninetales might have done it with Liam getting slowed down a little bit by the catch up. I thought certainly we were going to have a big photo. I mean, it was quite a good photo finish. Let's be honest. Three tenths of a second cover the top three. Uh, six tenths cover the top four. Oh, that was uh, that was a manic race. I, we swapped positions so many times a lap. We were too wide for so many laps in a row in that one. What a, fa <laughs> what a fantastic race. Spunk Ruffalo's made for a very, very good time. It's a shame. It was a shame last lap. Just the tiniest clip on the wall. Fires yet. That is the danger with, of course, concrete walls everywhere. That little, little nudge on the wall and chaos is caused. So, four... Our second race, we are going for even faster cars. This can only go well. We've got some of the full-on race cars. There is the S80-something, I can't remember. Uh, some letters and some numbers went into it. The Tyrus and the RE7B. Most There's a couple of RE7Bs. Most people have gone for all the same one as me, the Nissan-style uh, machine. Uh, now, while the 
buffaloes would get away with little bits of contact. These will not. If I hit the back of, well, the car ahead, we scoop it up. Uh, if, well, we get hit in the side, they tend to pick up. Basically, we can't really make contact. Uh, there is the tiny, there is just the tiniest occasional moments you'll get away with, with, with rear end contact. Oh, good God! <laughs> okay, that's a heart attack moment right there. Uh, that's the little contact you might get away with. Christ, that was a big crash. Uh, that, that was again. That was the just the tiny clip on the wall. Uh, that that is the downside with this with this style of track. While yes, there is oh, no curb boosting, and there's also no horrible reactions with the cars bouncing across the curbs. What you do get is if somebody brushes the inside wall, there's no forgiveness. You hit the wall, you bounce off the wall, and you go across the track, and that can cause some big old crashes and some very very lucky near misses. Uh, let's get out of the slipstream nice and early so we don't end up scooping the car ahead. And that'll see us across the finish line in the lead for this first race. There's a lot of cars lining up behind us. We oh, that's a very big crash. Dear God. <laughs> I think somebody hit the wall and then rampy race cars made for a lot of flying. There were some, some, some rampy race cars. I feel like I've made the title of the video. I don't even need to do much work when it comes to releasing this one now. Rampy race cars. That is the title. Um, not quite what I was expecting to go on here, but that is what we're going to do. <laughs> or slidey race cars as well. Can I squeeze around the outside? If I can make that work, that would be amazing. It almost did. And we are now stuck side by side. Ewan's going to go to the outside. Oh, God, we're three wide on lap two. Remember how we were so well behaved with the Buffaloes for most of it? We've now gone for faster cars and... Either we've got braver or more foolish. I guess maybe with the added grip and <laughs> some bravery going on in this. Not you, sorry, it's Stevie. It's in the... the well, St how is Stevie on? I don't know how Stevie's on the wall there and somehow got away with it. Anyway, the colour's similar. It looked frosty gold-ish. It's close enough. We're going to maybe lead for another lap. No, Danger Man will beat us to the finish line. There goes... I'm pretty sure that was one that flew over our head in the crash on the first lap. Pretty sure it was Danger Man's car. I think it was Danger Man and Nine Tails went for that one. Oh no! <laughs> We've just, we're just making ramps around the circuit, and I've goofed that one up. Ah, I'm really sorry. Uh, it's all gone a little bit wrong. Okay, I think Danger Man waited for the possibly for putting Stevie in a wall. Uh, we've we've all sorted ourselves out now. Uh, we're back to racing. Everyone's made a goof. We've now back as a pack. Um, should be back to fun times. Yeah, it's just the speed that these things go and the tiny margin for error you get when racing them. This this circuit is quite small in the margin for error department, and these are so very quick. Uh, they are uh, maybe a little better than like the likes of the Wagner. With this kind of racing, they're slightly. I think they're almost slightly grippier. That makes them a little bit uh, preferable, but. Uh, yeah, you've got to be so careful. They change directions so well. Uh, I kind of want to go... The problem is I want to go at the inside there, but you take such a shallow line, you really slow down here. And I've not really got anywhere to go at the moment. Oh, now we get a huge shot from behind. We would cross the line in second if that was the final lap. I mean, this is all... I say it's all kind of testing to figure out where you want to be on the final lap at the end of the day. You can need to be in the lead group. Uh, you can try and play silly games with slipstream, catch-up, draft, whatnot, but... Uh, if you're not close enough, it's still not going to work. The track position is king. We saw Liam win. Leave, leaving the final corner first was the way to go in that first race. Might be the same again with these. Depends on a million different factors. We get an absolutely mega run through this section. We will continue to lead the way. Let's go. might have a fire at the inside. I'll give space to that one. Oh, little tap on the wall. That's okay. We'll get away. Christ, that's a lot of cars. There's so many cars now lining up behind. It's, it's not really a... It's just a train. The train is... Oh, there was a crash, though. I think there was a crash or an incident. Something caused some cars to slow down at one of those hairpins. We now lead the way through all of this. Is there a way we can be leading here and still come out the other side with a lead by the time we get to the finish line? Possibly if them not fight each other too much. They're not going to be looking for a way past. They're not going to find a way past in these final couple of corners from that far back. And at least I don't have to be side by side. You see, that one there, because there were so many cars fighting, I actually pop out the other side with a big enough lead that it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, that's a, that's a little bit of a dive, but yeah, fair enough. Um, we still kept everyone together, and we didn't go spiralling wildly out of control. Uh, Danger Man leaves us space around the next corner, some slipstream is going to go on here. I'm just going to try to hold whatever lane I'm in. Night Owls will pass. 
We're going to be oh, to the outside. Don't end up in the wall, though. We've seen how much trouble you can get in with the wall riding. We'll have a little... Oh, like that. <laughs> like that. If you just get caught out by the understeer. I think we're weirdly having a lot of cars. Like, they ping up on the wall and it looks horrific. But then they just kind of bounce back down and they're fine. I don't... <laughs> it's weird. It doesn't look like it should work. But it does, basically. Uh, it, is, it is working. We've got a good run here. I'm not sure that line is quite going to work for all of that. We'll just sit in the draft for now. We're bringing cars with us. There's a decent number of cars with us here. Uh, we will get up the inside this time around. That was really, really close. I thought I'd beansed it. I thought we were going to have a massive accident there. We get away with it. Oh, there's a massive accident behind. That looked like a chain reaction push and turnaround going on. It's the final lap. It's the last chance. Oh, that's a huge slide through turn one by me. We clear hyper through all of that. I mean, we're, we're playing with millimetres to spare at ridiculous speeds in these cars. <laughs> millimetres to spare, crazy speeds, absolutely no margin for error because, well, what you, what you get, what you see in terms of road space is what you get. There's no, no wriggle room. There's no runoff areas. It's concrete or... Oh... Uh, uh, come on now, that's a little, 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 little bad, little bad for me there. Little, little bad. We were thinking of words and not the driving. Uh oh, we're gonna be stuck in a little bit of an awkward place here. Now, me and Glisk are gonna be really careful. If we fight each other too hard here, Danger Man gets away. But if we don't fight each other, uh, the one, well, whoever wins our little fight might end up winning the race. Uh, Danger Man didn't get away. I got a little too much of a shot into that corner. There is so much fighting going on around this final turn. I don't know if anyone's going to get a slipstream in time. They're not. We're going to do it. Oh, that finish line. <laughs> I don't know how we did that. I do not know how we did that. But it worked. Christ, what a race. What a finish to that one. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> Oh, let's have a look. Just how close was that? The answer is very. Between me and 7th place was 6 tenths of a second. And it was Scotty in 7th against the fastest lap of the race. Oh, what a bonkers, bonkers run to the line that one was. Yeah, it turns out getting first out of that final corner was the way to go because everyone was so busy fumbling over one another. I think it was Gliska, whoever gave me a shot towards that final corner, penultimate corner, actually kind of what gave me the win because I was, I was on the outside and cleared Danger Man, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. A big thank you to Pwn for building this uh, fantastic circuit. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.